Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Babak Bagede Emo Television, Hamunirat Dubri. First at major highlights for the national news. Hamotekun reveals why they are here to parade or massacre suspects. Hamotekun seeks installation of CCTV cameras in Ondo State. Two shot dead, 16 abducted in Kaduna State. Ogun State workers reject Governor Dapo Habiodun's offer. Oshun Court awards 6 million naira compensation against police over illegal invasion. Finally, 130 senior police officers face panel. Now the news in details. Ondo State Security Outfit, codenamed Amotekun, yesterday explained why it is keeping detailed information on the suspects arrested over the terrorist attack at St. Francis Catholic Church, or War, Kondo State. No fewer than 15 worshippers were murdered, while 100 were seriously injured during the attack. A reliable source told BGI TV in Nakure, Ondo State, that the security outfit was still profiling the arrested su suspects. A source also told us in confidence that the details on the arrest were kept top secret, following instructions from the government and in order not to jeopardize investigation. The Ondo State Security Network, codenamed Amotekun Cops, has given August 1st, 2022, has deadline for compliance on the executive order issued by Governor Rotimi Akere Dolu on installation of closed circuit television cameras, CCTV cameras, in public and private institutions. Governor Akere Dolu last week signed the order making it mandatory for all public, public places, financial institutions, restaurants, hotels, and other lodging facilities, pubs, nightclubs, educational institutions, and religious worship centers in all the 18 local government areas of the state to have functional video surveillance for CCTV equipment installed in strategic locations within their premises. Again, bandits have attacked a community in Kaduna State, killing two persons and taking 16 others away. The hustlers on motorcycles raided Sabungero in the Millennium City area of Metropolis late Tuesday night. Commander of the Civilian Joint Task Force, JT Head, and the residents of the area were killed in the attack, while a medical doctor was among those abducted. A marathon meeting held between Dr. Governor, I beg your pardon, Governor Dapo Habiodun and his people and the leadership of the labor unions in the state ended in deadlock. BGI TV gathered at the meeting, which took long hours, ended without a resolution by the parties on the way to end the strike declared by the workers on Monday. BGI TV also reported that the Nigerian Labor Congress the Trade Union Congress and Joint Negotiating Council, as well as Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, had declared the indefinite strike to press home their demands. It was further reported that the strike which commenced on Tuesday rendered all the state establishments paralyzed as the workers insisted on the payments of their entitlements, which include their gratitude, pensions, contributory pensions, and other allowances. Apparently not comfortable with the situation, Abiyodun had on Tuesday announced the decision to hold a closed doors meeting with the labor unions with a view to resolving the crisis. But on Wednesday evening, after the long hours of the meeting, the workers rejected the offer presented to them by Governor Dapo Abiyodun. Justice A. Oyebi of an Ocean State High Court sitting in Oshogo on Wednesday ordered the police to pay two applicants a sum of six million naira over illegal invasion of their residence. The two applicants, Yusuf Adepoju and Mudashiru Kewudirolo, had dragged the police to court in a suit number HOSM, alleging that officers invaded their private residence without prior notice. 
They said there was no prior invite until the police invaded the residence at about 3 o'clock a.m. on November 16, 2021, for reasons known to them. In his judgment, Justice Oyebi held that infringing on fundamental human rights of innocent civilians was against the 1999 Constitution. He also added that the applicant's privacy was threatened by the police during the incident and awarded the amount as compensation against them. Finally, the Nigerian police force yesterday summoned 130 senior officers over their involvement in human rights abuses. The panel, first disciplinary committee, which met on Tuesday at the force headquarters, said it would review disciplinary cases instituted against senior officers who were of the rank of ASPs and above. Addressing, addressing reporters yesterday, first spokesperson Olumu Iwa Adejobi said those who faced the panel were two CPs, three ACPs, 11 chief superintendents of police, 77 assistant superintendents of police and 18 deputy superintendents of police. That was the national news from BGI TV. But before we go, here's a quick recap of our major highlights once again. Hamotepo reviews why they are yet to parade or massacre suspects. Hamotepo seeks installation of CCTV cameras in Ondo State. Two shot dead, 16 abducted in Kaduna State. Ogun State workers reject Governor Dakwabiodun's offer. Oshun Court awards 6 million compensation against police over illegal invasion. Finally, more than 30 senior police officers face panel. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media pages on Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. On YouTube, Babag Bagede Imo TV. Kindly click on the red subscribe button, like, comment, and share. For hardware placement, please call the number showing on your screen. Thank you for watching. Good afternoon once again. I'm Jubril Munirat.